it's a difficult line to balance, right? It's always hard when you're trying to, to distinguish the act of teaching between the act of plagiarism. Uh, there's a YouTube channel by the name of Veritasium, I think I'm pronouncing that right, who is super huge, super famous. He's made countless videos, millions of subscribers, incredibly successful guy. I think he was on that god-awful episode of Bill Nye with the sex junk that YouTube took down because everybody was laughing at it and it destroyed Bill Nye's career. But anyways, I was scrolling the internet and I found this video. The equation will change how you see the world. The similarities that he had to John Gribben are horrifying to me. So let me just kind of go through uh, the Veritas' video and kind of explain what he talks about. He talks about an introduction to chaos um, theory. He makes no mention of complexity science, which is way more important than chaos theory. But the first example he gives is the population of rabbits. So this book, this is from John Gibbons' book, Deep Simplicity, one of the best books I've ever read as an intro to chaos and complexity. And I just want to show you guys this. That this book was published 2004. And in this book by John, John Gribben, he talks about a lot of examples. And in the Veritasium video, though, he uses the exact same examples that John Gribben used in 2004. So the beginning of the Veritasium video, let um, me kind of look through this stuff here. He talks about the dripping of a tap. And John Gribben himself talks about the dripping of a tap, saying on page 76 of Deep Simplicity. Intriguingly though, just after writing the section, I was out shopping after a heavy rain, and while waiting in line at the hardware store, I noticed a drip from a leaky gutter outside the window, where I could clearly both see the sets of four falling raindrops and hear their impact on the pavement below, making, the exact, making exactly this rat-a-tat rhythm. John Gribben talks about how taps have period doublings and bifurcations in the exact same manner that Veritasium does. Both John Gribben and Veritasium talk about the maze equation, which I'm gonna list on the next page. Right there, an example of, of, of a system involving feedback, three iterations. Both of them talk about the changes that happen as the maze equation changes its value. He uses the same visual representation of the, that bifurcation. They both talk about that in their exact same video. They both talk about um, the Feinbaum coefficient of 4.6691, what Feinbaum looked at when he's looking at the, at the variables, about the May equation, which is the, um, the original equation here coined by Robert May. I can pull that one up real quick, right here. Okay, there's nothing that Veritasium said or did that was an original idea. And it's it that would like it's fine if you want to make educational content on stuff that you haven't published. That's cool. But when you make a video that copies word for word, idea by idea, uses the exact same examples as someone else's book, I don't know if that's plagiarism, but I don't think you should be profiting off of that. Another example that Veritasium uses about about chaos is convection cells. Again, he, I mean, he uses the exact same examples. I mean, th there's nothing that he says or does. You know, he talks about EKGs. This talks about EKGs. There's a whole point about here about fractality of EKGs. He talks about the firing of neurons. I mean, there's, there's really, I mean, honestly, this goes, I'd recommend John Gribben over this because at least John Gribben goes into talking about complexity as a, as, a, as a solution to that, you know, there's nothing that I saw that it was original. And I don't know, I just, I feel bad. Watching that video put a bitter, nasty taste in my mouth. And I, I just, I'm, it's, it's irritating, man. Like you can't, you can't take stuff that existed before YouTube became a big thing. I don't know. I don't know if it's plagiarism or not. I'm just, I wanted to share that because it's just really irritating.